Hi guys, this is my first video, but I wanted to share something with you that might help you in some of your paintings. So let's get the camera set up and we'll see what we can do. Okay guys, so we got the camera set up and I want to show you just a little something today. Uh, now I have been painting for a few years, but uh, I'm definitely not the best painter out there. There are a lot better painters out there and um, I use oil paints only, of course. And I love watching everybody else's videos that they've posted and how everybody's just helping each other along. So I just wanted to show you a little something today that might help you. So I had a person ask me a while back if I could paint a, a picture of, of, a, of a, something that they found on the internet. So I don't usually do, you know, commission pieces because I think they're difficult. I think it's um, to a point uh, it's hard to live up to expectations. Uh, I don't think I can paint as good as, as as a lot of you can paint to make it actually look like a picture picture. So anyway, I agreed to do it. And in this picture was a, a building. And I'm not very good at painting buildings. Usually when I paint buildings, uh, my buildings end up looking lopsided uh, if I try to do it freehand. And I'll post a picture below this video in the comments of... Uh, my finished project. So what I had was, um, I thought that why can't you, why can't I cut it out and use it? So what I did was, was this is a picture of the church that they wanted me, that was in this picture that they wanted me to paint. So I printed it out on cardstock and then I just cut it out and then you just place the whatever it is, wherever you think it might be want to be centered, whatever kind of building it is, whether it's a church, whether it's a cabin or whatever. And I have done this with a cabin too, and it works pretty good. So you might not want to put it dead center. You might want to put it off just a little bit. And in the, in the picture, there were trees in the background and maybe a little path in the front ground, uh, in the foreground. So what I found is easier to do is make sure it's aligned how you want it. Uh, and, and then, just hold it on, hold your, your pattern on there. Then just take a little fine point marker and draw around the pattern. Like so. And if it isn't exact, exact, it won't really matter because you're going to cover a lot of this up with, uh, with trees or bushes or whatever. And um, as Bob used to always say, trees cover up a multitude of sins. So we're not worried if things aren't exactly perfect. So, but that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good drawing of the church. So then what you do is you just take some good old black gesso, Bob Ross gesso or whatever kind of gesso you have, acrylic paint, doesn't really matter. Just take a little bit and then you just paint it in like so and I'm going to do this kind of quickly but you'll want to take your time and do this a little bit slower and make sure that you get everything painted real well and I don't know about some of you but I usually find that doing a couple layers of gesso is usually what needs to be done to get everything covered really well uh it seems like one layer of gesso or you could use black acrylic paint it doesn't really matter just anything that's going to dry uh, it just seems like one layer doesn't always cover up as uh, as good as it needs to so um, instead of boring you all watching me paint this old church in, uh, you get the idea. And then when this dries, make sure this is completely dry. And then you could paint over top of this. Then what I do, and you don't have to do this, but what I have done then is taken a, just a piece of contact paper and actually drawn out the same thing on contact paper, cut out the contact paper, then stick it directly on over top of this. Then when you paint, 
and you paint all your background trees, you get some over it, then you peel the contact paper off, and then you have just your black church again, and then you can continue painting painting it however you want to um, to get it to keep the shape of the church. Or you don't have to stick the, the, the contact paper on. You can just paint over it. Use a, a uh, this is a scraping tool. This is a uh, Wilson Bickford scraping tool. If you get paint over top of it, you don't want to use a lamin, uh, contact paper over it. Just take your, your scraping tool, just paint that, scrape that little bit off. And you can either put on liquid clear over this part, or you can leave it dry and paint it too. It really probably doesn't matter. Uh, and if you have something over top of this, you put your, your liquid white over to, to start or liquid clear or whatever you want to uh, over the painting. You could scrape that off and paint it, and then you could just go from there. So I hope this gives you a little bit of help, maybe just a little tip uh, for somebody like me that doesn't really do very good with, with buildings. Uh, this will keep the shape and the form of whatever kind of building you're using. Then you can take time to get the details out to put in everything that needs to be. You don't have to worry about your shape being off. So, all right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.